Welcome back. Last time we got a bunch of work done on this frame and hopefully now we can get the axles underneath. So last time we finished up getting the suspension out, got the full front suspension and brackets out, mocked up some of the front stuff, got the rear axle out and started mocking up some of the rear brackets. Uh, but before we get too far in that, going to have to get these tanks out uh, because we need to be able to easily access behind here. We can do it with the tank, but they need to come out anyways. We're putting different ones in, so going to drop the tanks out. And then on this side over here, just walk back around. These holes here are going to be utilized for uh, mounting the front uh, hanger, so this needs to come out anyways so we can get some bolts in there. So I'll get those dropped out and we'll start getting some brackets bolted on. So I got the gas tanks out, now it's time to work on getting these brackets on. I'm gonna start on the rear. It's a little more straightforward. Uh, we'll start with this bracket here. Gonna go in these holes here, uh, but we need to drill out these rivet holes till half inch. So we'll do that and bolt this guy up. So got the rear mount on there. It went on there pretty smoothly. Uh, maybe on future might adjust the positioning of that because that's pretty close to the rear bumper bracket. So I have to tuck that in a little bit. But anyway, we'll get over and do the other side and then move on to the front of the rear suspension. So now on to uh, the front mount of the rear leaf springs. Uh, these two holes right here reference off of these holes here and we drill new ones in the frame. Uh, but to do that, we're gonna drill these out to 7 16 and then put some 7 16 bolt in there to get a, a alignment, drill the holes and then we'll enlarge these to half inch. So I got the bracket secured on with the two front bolts. Now we'll use these rear holes to uh, locate and drill new holes in the frame. Got this front one all mounted on. Now over to the next side, which we'll show that one because uh, this bracket here for the gas tanks mounted in the same holes that we want to use up front here. So we'll end up uh, cutting these rivets off and getting that out and then we can get the bracket on. Moving on to the front here, gonna get the shock towers bolted on. Already got this side bolted on. Also um, took the engine mounts out and did a little more cleaning. So we'll uh, show you how this one goes on. Uh, there'll be a few bolts I leave out because still need to get the track bar mount uh, manufactured for this side and that'll come in later and they will also mount the steering box. But anyway, we'll get this mounted and then move on to the three radius arms. So I got all the brackets on here. Didn't really show the install of these rear radius arm brackets. That's because I'm going to get them remade. Um, I, one of the things that's wrong with them, I messed up and did a well beat on the inside there. So that's interfering with this radius. Um, also some hole diameters I want to downsize to half inch and add an extra hole inside here for support. 
but they're good enough in place right now to uh, mock things up, get the axles in. Uh, these are probably all gonna come back off again and get painted but right now. Uh, it's really test fitting to make sure everything works. So uh, they fit on there pretty good. Um, everything's looking good so far. I think I'm gonna clean up my mess here and we'll start rolling in the axles. Uh, the rear axle here, uh, need to replace the pinion seal because it's leaking a bit. So we'll end up doing that. We'll start with the rear first, get that underneath, and then get this front axle underneath. So I got the rear axle in here, kind of locked myself in with the frame, but I was managed to jack it around and get it in there. Uh, hopefully this sits down a bit because the intended height was uh, four inch lift or what a high boy, high boy would sit. And right now it's looking a little tall. Uh, might've messed up on some measurements, but hey, if we got a six inch lift, we got a six inch lift. The bolts are in, they're not tight. I'll probably tighten up later. Uh, next step is getting this front axle in here. Um, I think I need taller jack stands and a bigger jack, but we'll make it work. This is why I'm test fitting. Ran into a slight interference here on this uh, support uh, with the radius arm. So I'm going to come in here with a sawzall and an angle grinder, clearance this out. Remaking this, so I'll just modify to have a radius in here for clearance. But a uh, simple fix and get this bolted in. Got the front end set in there and it fits pretty well. Uh, sits overall level, probably a little bit high in the front. Uh, definitely going to be switching out these springs because these are from an F-350 with a 6 liter and the engine we're putting in here is a 351. It doesn't weigh a half as much as a 6 liter. So I'm going to get some uh, springs from a 5.4 uh, truck, put those in. They should be softer and set down lower because right now it's probably going to be too stiff and set too high. Um, but otherwise, looking pretty good. Um, still need to do steering box mount, track bar mount, um, designing those right now, going to get them sent off to have cut out. So within a, probably about two and a half weeks should have those to put in here. Um, in the meantime, probably going to look it over, see if there's anything that need to be changed or modified. Uh, but right now it's looking pretty good. Um, it should all set down once uh, there's weight on it. Uh, one thing I do need to get also are some um, bump stops. I'm just going to try to order some uh, brand new ones, see if uh, Fords are reasonable or maybe some aftermarket ones. Just some stock height ones. Then I'll take the springs out, set it down the bump stops, and make sure the cross number here isn't hitting the differential or anything like that. Make sure we got plenty of clearance on that. And we'll also have to confirm with the track bar that we have plenty of clearance with all that stuff. Um, but until then, we'll probably switch over to the engine, uh, get it in here now that we got some room, um, work on getting it set in here, and designing a cross member to set it all um, correct angle. And we'll start working on transfer cases and maybe some drive shafts. So that's going to be it for this video. Got the axles in there, everything temporarily set in there. We'll be taking stuff back apart again. Uh, next time we'll be working on installing the engine. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, get set, turn on those notifications and uh, comment down below what, what you think. Maybe some things you'd recommend I'm doing on the truck or in the future, what we should do before we get it all put together.